I see, I hear, do you understand the cost in years, in tears, the weight of the damn? Hey, it's Grim and Geek Media here. I'm Jerry the Geek. Today we're going to talk about Kong, Skull Island on 4K. Now, before we do, uh, please, if you like physical media, you know, home theater, movies, you know, 4Ks, Blu-rays, or anything like that, uh, please check out my other videos on my channel and like and subscribe. Uh, turn your bell notifications on as well. So, uh, let's talk about uh, 4K of uh, Kong Skull Island. Uh, the movie came out in 2017, starring uh, Tom Hiddleston, Samuel L. Jackson, Brie Larson, uh, John Goodman. Uh, also, we have uh, John C. Riley thrown in there. Uh, directed by uh, Jordan Voigt Roberts. I personally love this movie. You know, it's another reboot. But at the same time, it's not just on its own. It's, a, you know, Warner Brothers rebooted it to fit into the whole monster universe with Godzilla and all the other old classic uh, Toho characters from the Godzilla days. The movie basically takes place in 1973 when they, they charter this uh, expedition to the island by the company. You know, the company involvement is um, Monarch, which is involved with the Godzilla. So they tie all that together. Again, phenomenal movie. The you know the CG they did a great job with. A lot of great action in it. Now this 4K release comes from Warner Brothers and came out in 2017. Yeah, the movie was filmed in digitally, so it has a 2K digital intermediate, so it's upscaled to 4K. It has HDR10. And something I've been learning, you know, going through these reviews is you know, the stuff that's filmed in digital, it's, you know, it's a crapshoot as far as how it can, you know, re results, how it relays to 4K. You know, some look, you know, fantastic, some not so much. This one, they did a phenomenal job. It looks incredible in 4K. Some great textures overall, details. Um, has a pretty much soft color palette, oh, not, not a lot of colors in it, but the colors you do see leap off the screen. Early on when they show up in a taxi cab to go to a meeting to see a senator and the, the yellow of the taxi cab really leaps off the screen. The visuals of Kong, the the little crawlers, I forget what the hell they called them, but they, you know, they just looked immaculate and I was very impressed with how it turned out. So overall, you know, the, the visuals are quite stunning on this. You know, and to compare it with the Blu-ray, the Blu-ray itself is phenomenal. Very little differences between the two. And the screenshots you, you're going to see here, it's very minimal. I mean, it's really hard to pick out what you see between the Blu-ray and the 4K. So take a look at the screenshots here. We'll come back and talk about the audio packaging. And we'll uh, see you in a couple minutes. So for the audio, they gave us a Dolby Atmos track uh, along with the DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, which I forget which one I just, I just did re a review recently of a Warner Brothers. They have a weird thing going on that the when you start playing the movie, if you don't select anything, it defaults to the DTS track. So if you want the Dolby Atmos, you have to go in and choose it. Kind of a weird thing from Warner Brothers. I don't know why they're doing it, but. 
So this will kind of warn you about that. I don't have Dolby Atmos, so mine's only, mine is only uh, it's downscaled to 5.1. And comparing the two, you know, since day one of home theater, DTS is always uh, so much better than Dolby. I mean, early days, like Laserdisc and DVD, it was night and day difference. DTS mopped the floor with Dolby. Dolby sucked compared to DTS. It wasn't until Blu-ray that Dolby came out when they once they introduced a true HD. They were in a fight with DTS. I mean, they're they're into the, they're in the same building with them now, the same theater as I should say. As far as comparing the two, but here you know comparing apples to apples, you know 5.1 the Dolby and a 5.1 DTS. Yeah, the DTS is it's a more robust soundtrack. Has a little bit more punch to it. I mean, not to say the Dolby is lacking anything, but that's it is what it is. Both tracks are phenomenal. So if you don't have Dolby Atmos, you know you can you know flip back and forth between the two. You'll probably like the DTS better. Plus a score done by uh, Henry Jackman, wonderful score. You know, really brings everything alive with the sound effects. Some great use of surround. You know, the movie's action-packed. There's a lot of shit going on flying around you. A lot of deep bass and sh some scenes. That, so if you crank it up, you're going to be you know, be shaking your house or apartment, whatever you're living in. Yeah, it's going to rip. So for the packaging, uh, standard keep case. But you're going to see this is not the original uh, cover that came with it. This is a cover I did on my computer. If you check out my custom cover videos, you you can see it as well, along with some other stuff I've done. And did the design on the back. Different artwork on the Blu-ray and the 4K. So for the bonus features, we have Creating a King, a two-part exploration of the rebirth and recreation of the Gonic Monster. Monarch Files uh, 2.0 Companion Archive. Uh, d dive deep into the organization and Monsterverse mythology. Uh, Tom Hiddleston, the intrepid traveler. You know, join the actor on a tour of the film's breathtaking locations. Deleted scenes, directors, ugh, director's commentary, and more. So overall, a kick-ass release from uh, Warner Brothers. You know, the video's incredible, the audio's incredible. I mean, this whole release is a rock solid. I uh, definitely recommend picking this up for your collection. And plus, you know, the movie itself, you know, the reboot to get, you know, bring it back into the MonsterVerse with uh, Godzilla, which we'd all been dreaming of since the new Godzillas came out. Unfortunately, you know, it's going to cost you about $22, $23 unless you can find something like a used copy somewhere. I don't know why they can't lower the price on this. It's crazy. That's why it's, I've been wanting, wanting it for a long time. I had to, you know, had the Blu-ray, but wanted the 4K. Just didn't want to spend that kind of money for an older movie. So when it popped up in my brother's collection when I got from after he passed... I was like, cool, you know, that saved me, you know, $23. He didn't have 4K, so I'm not sure why he had it, but anyways, I got it. But yeah, definitely add this to your collection. You won't be disappointed. So uh, check out my other videos on my channel and like and subscribe. Uh, turn your bell notifications on for future videos. I got a lot more coming. It's, this has been fun to do. It's been a great journey for me. Keep me busy. Give me something to live for. Whether you like it or not, I hope some of you do. So we'll see you soon. Geek out.